Hey guys, it's Ruffles Kerman, and this is our very first live stream. So we are actually going to be building a MUN rocket, which is a pretty simple mission, but I will be using your suggestions from the chat. So to start off, we can either use a Mark 1, a uh, whatever this is in between Mark 1 and Mark 2, or big size lander. So for those of you, it looks like there's about six of you on right now. Um, which which do you want to use? The giant size, medium size, or the small size? We land with the main saw. Actually, that sounds fun. Mark three pod. Big one. Small, big, three. Okay, I see more for three. So let's use three, and then, assuming this is going to be a return mission. So, also, if the music is a little loud and you can't hear my voice really well, just tell me, and I can turn that down. Because this is my first live stream, so I'm obviously still adjusting the settings a little bit. So let's build this pod right here. Try to land from IVA view. Man, I don't know if I'm up there yet. But maybe. Hopefully. Okay. And then... Alright, so this looks like our normal pod return capsule. And... Paula style mission. Okay. All right, how do we want to land? So I see someone saying an Apollo-style mission. We can also do a giant lander. Um, we can land with nuclear engines. Somebody said a main saw. That would be fun. So um, if you have a suggestion, you can put it in chat. Currently, there's two. We can either do Apollo-style or main cell. Some, uh, somebody said land with a mammoth engine. That has so much thrust and uh, it's not very efficient. So that would be a very cool thing to do, but I think I have to design that uh, previously just because that would be a very hard rocket to design. Use your flag. I don't have, I don't have any extra flags here. I haven't even uploaded mine unfortunately because this is my new computer. <clears throat> Direct landing with the main cell. Okay, uh, let's do that. I think we're going to need a lot of fuel. Okay, let, let's see. The MUN, and then where's the main saw? Actually, this is one of my favorite engines. Okay, 2532, oh my goodness. We can probably do that. Just for fun, I want to see how much the main saw would be. Or not, main mammoth. Uh, 65. I don't think I can land with a 65. I think I might have landed on the mun with a, main, with a mammoth before, because I landed a giant space station. But this one is, uh, that, that one was very hard to build. So let's try, let's actually use my favorite solar panels, just because we can. Oh, there we go. Let's try to make this one look cool as well. Um, TWR 25. Yeah, that that is a lot of thrust away. But I guess that makes it sort of a challenge. Add boosters. I have not installed visual mods yet. I want to install waterfall. And then I'll think of a couple other ones. But so far, I just had a great idea. Who is with me? We should use these. Yes, this is the lander. Subject to change, but this is the lander. Let's add. And then let's use 
these ones. Add boosters, like boosters on the lander or boosters on the rocket. On the rocket, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like the classic rocket, except the fins are a little bit bigger. But I do, I do like them. I think this is gonna be fun. Actually, that put our TWR down down to twenty nine point eight seven. Can we use twenty nine point eight seven to land? And these only have fifteen meters per second impact tolerance. While these, wait, seriously? These big tails have. A better tolerance, impact tolerance, than the actual landing legs. 50. Well, the speed. What about the Gs? No, yeah. Oh my goodness. I should just use these every time. Literally. They're better. I mean, I guess the legs have, like, the springs, and maybe that helps. But, like, statistically, it's better. Separatrons. We can do separatrons for big rockets. Instead of separatrons, you have to use uh, you have to use some of the bigger, like the flea or something, because otherwise it does. It just like doesn't doesn't work because these are too small. But on this one, it should work just fine. Okay, so this is the lander for now. I'm not really too worried about science either. I have like 7,000 science on this save, so that's not a big deal. Also, let's quickly add the action group. Okay, this has 2189 meters per second, or delta V, I guess, is technically the more correct way to go. It's 2189. Okay, let's change it back to Kerbin. And, all right, let's build the rest of the rocket. <laughs> That's why in childhood we just used fins rather. Yes, in childhood we were smarter than we knew. Tiny children are very smart. Add 20 solar panels. Twenty solar panels? Okay. I like solar panels. I don't know if we can get 20 on here, but we can certainly get more. Okay. Actually add some. No, no, we can do we can do more than just that. There we go. And then you want more solar panels? Let's move these in a little bit. There we go. Then let's find more. We can do these ones. Actually, we can just do like that. And then, there we go. That's more solar panels. And let's make sure, yeah, there we go. And then this is toggle, this is toggle. Yeah, perfect. How can I leave the habit of 200% overkill rockets? That's not a bad habit, though. Add fireworks. Um, yes, let's do fireworks. We need that, and then... Alright, and then once we are on the moon, we can launch those fireworks. 
Okay, 1841. We might want to think of adding more fuel. I mean, after all, we do have an insane amount of delta or thrust to weight. No, stop. There we go. And then let's make sure this is auto strut. I love auto strut, it helps so much. 2354, that should be enough as long as we get this in orbit. Add an ore refinery. I mean, I would, but I think this rocket should be fine. It has a whole bunch of ore. Or not ore, excuse me, fuel. Place the parachute with a fuel tank and an aerospike engine. Could we do that? Um. Hmm. I just think that would be different than what we've gone with so far. But that is a good idea. I don't often land without parachutes, so maybe we should do that more often. All right. Let's actually get to building. Let's get to building the underside, or I not the underside, the rest of the rocket. Let's build the rest of the rocket. Add docking ports, add a parachute, add a parachute for no reason. That's not hard to do. These are completely useless. There we go. Minimalistic mission? Mi minimalistic min- that's a tongue twister, but it's a good idea. Add a big boy booster. Oh, I love big boy boosters. So let's go to fairing. And then build fairing. Um, do we want the fairing to look good or do we want it to be efficient? Let's just do this. I feel like this just do it. There we go. Um that's fine. The rocket will look like a giant arrow or something. Spear. I can live with that. Okay. Um Make the rest of the rocket 1.8. Build a self-destruct mechanism. SRBs. Boosters. Hmm. Let's see. Alright, we first want... Yeah, the first size that was posted was... 5 meters. So let's go with 5 meters. We can do a 1.8 meter rocket with a minimalistic minimus mission. That would be a very cool uh, title for a video. You know, make people pause and think because it's hard to say. Okay, what engine should we do on this? Add RCS. Okay, after we do these engines, I'll add some RCS. <laughs> Seats on the outside, honestly. Okay. Clydesdale Nuclear. Well, this has uh, oxidizer as well in it. There's not a big enough thing for just liquid fuel um, what should we use for reusable plane nerve engines 18 main saws should we do should we do a uh, a completely main saw rocket let me add a pole There we go. And then, well, it said the pole's not up. I don't know. It should add the pole soon. There we go. All right, and we can still add SRBs. That's not messing with the completely main salt because those aren't actually liquid boosters. So SRBs are perfectly fine. But, yes, the... Uh, Yes is winning by a good margin. So yes, it is. And then because people wanted RCS, here we go. RCS. And then we actually got to add some. The top one, are, oh, those are the tiny ones. The top, this thing already has RCS. So that's fine. 
But there we go. That should be enough RC. Actually, let's add some RCS on the tips because these are big wings. And then let's just give it some more. There we go. That should be fine. Um, and you know what? Let's add a ladder here just to look cool. Okay, and then let's end that pole. It's definitely... Let's see. Solar panels on final stage just in case batteries are enough. Yes. I do need the all auto auto strut thing. Put seats on the outside. Um Okay, I'm really sorry for these kerbals. You know, it's just going to be the one. There we go. I really hope and we're going to save some space in there for him, just in case he's uh, not doing so well. So then, yeah, let's add some solar panels, chunky solar panels. And then this is going to be mainsaws. How much is that? Let's fix this. There we go. How much the rest to wait? And this is Kerbin as well. 2.31. We don't need 2.31. Let's try double. Um, 1.22. That should be fine. And 26.48. Okay. But we need more. We need those big boosters. Oh, that's locked. Okay, that's good. There we go. Um, fins on the cabin final stage to try and glide it before parachuting. Just destroy Jeb? No, 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 don't destroy Jeb. Put four capsules under the engines. Vector engines. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is a lot. Why does that have wings if it's getting a fairing? Um... Just because it looks cool, put Brave Wide Jeb. Okay, Jeb can go in the external seat. We'll just have to quick save in case uh, we lose Jeb. Main saw has RCS2. Um, they're a little powerful for that. Somebody said put fins on here. Do we have small enough fins? Whoa, those are bigger than I thought. I thought we had smaller fins. And like the ones that actually moved. We could put oh my why are all of these so big? Heat shield. I have a heat shield on it. Do you mean somewhere else? No, all of these are too big. Add zero parachutes and just land with the Kerbals jumping out. I actually did that in my uh I think it was the SLS video, and that was just completely on accident because I actually forgot to add a parachute. So, uh, yeah, that was fun. All right, and I was going to put wolfhounds, but nope, we got to do the main saws. Main saws all the way. And we got to make it look right by twisting them like this. And if you don't know how to do that, I didn't for the longest time. You just hold shift and then twist with the normal buttons. Okay. 0 0.76. We need more. Um, 0 0.94. That's better, but we can do that. And then that has 1.65. Perfect. And then we got to add those giant fins down here as well. 
vector engines? Well, we already have decided that we're going to do main stalls. I had put up a poll. And, uh, main stalls all the way. We're going to do some SRBs, but uh, we can't use any other engine besides a main stall. Ant engines. You need like uh, 50,000 of those. That would be funny, though. The small fins are the ones with like little yellow. Okay. I can do those. These, those don't move around, but they would help glide it most likely. So let's let's just move this for a minute. Like that. I think that looks sort of cool. And let's just put this right there. Alrighty. Um let's add let's add some SRBs. Somebody wanted some SRBs, so let's do that. Pollux. I don't really use the Pollux too much. Probably because I recently relatively got the expansion, infinite fuel. I don't really like using the hacks because it just doesn't feel right. I mean, I do use the hacks in some of the videos. Um, actually, I don't think I've ever used those. I do use, like, the Cal Controller hack. Technically, that's legal, though. <laughs> like, technically, that's not a hack. Except it is, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, and then these need SRBs on them. Ah, no. There we go. Do, no, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Use the smallest SRB. Stretch needed. Make the SRB parachuted. That is an interesting idea. Let's do that. What? No, stop. I want the red. Oh, man. That's just going to have to stay there. And then, actually, those are perfect already. Nice. Where is the red? Okay, that's making me mad. Get, come here, parachute. There we go. And then we just need some Sepatrons. There we go. And these will be with these guys. So now let's check the staging. Man, and if, like, I seem a little congested. I have some allergies, so sorry, guys. The Separatrons and the Parachutes, perfect. Yes, 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 wait, yes, and then, yeah, and then the Parachutes. Awesome. Okay. Um, you have to go, Francesco. That's okay. Make the SRB spin when separating. launch I do think it's ready for launch they should spin because I didn't put any uh, separatrons on the bottom part of them so they should already spin don't use time warp well unfortunately I have some other things later in the day so we're gonna have to use time warp let's call this the viewer mon rocket if you have a better idea put it in the chat next 30 seconds and I'll put it in auto destruct mode in the ship opposite direction around the bottom sure so you mean this one that way and this one that way I just hope it doesn't uh, that could easily mess it up but you know what if it does we'll just fix that later <laughs> The one goes the other way on the bottom. Oh, I see what you mean. Like that. Incess rocket. Nightmare. Thick boy. Thick boy nightmare. Just use both. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> you had it right before. 
Okay. Look at that. And then just to make sure. Yeah, there we go. All right. Let's put the esteemed. Whoa, where is Jebediah? I think Jebediah is on a mission. Hmm. Name it the scientific name of pig. I already know that sus someone ate. <laughs> um, we have to recruit. Actually, no, we only can have two people. Oh, but none of them are pilots. So we have to recruit somebody else. Vote. Bernand, Hark, uh, Bernand Theoberry, or John Bulls. We need a pilot, so we can either have Bernand, Theoberry, or John Bulls. Theo. There's a fuel storage depot. I'll probably just use all the fuel, though. I'm not very good at uh, being kind to the environment. Um, John Bulls. John Bulls, John Bulls, John Bulls. Ron Paul. We don't have Ron Paul. Uh, okay, John. Let's go with Mr. John. And John Bulls. There we go. Wait, but uh, unfortunately, Ruffles Kerman has to go on the seat. And yes, I did uh, go into the code and edit and put Ruffles. Here we go. We are ready to launch, I think. Here we go. By the way, I am very happy with how this computer turned out. Finally live streaming. Yes. Also, this is a very good mod. It's still a little buggy, um, but it allows you to actually walk around in your rocket. Actually, it's very buggy, but it's still cool. And here we go. That is a lot of TWR. Add goo. Oops, sorry. Add a Kerbal called help me. Hi, Vass. Honestly, this is a surprisingly stable rocket. Look at this. It's not going to be very efficient orbit because it's sort of slow rocket, but that's fine. We have a little bit of extra fuel. Actually, we have a lot of extra fuel. Well, do we? Do we have a lot of extra fuel? I don't know. Uh, it's it's not as smooth anymore. It's chonky. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Ruffles Kerman just died. Oh, you're a fake payas. That's okay. Representation. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, Ruffles Kerman just died from the lack of oxygen. So, unfortunately, we cannot put him out. Wait, no, we can just put his helmet on. We can just put his helmet on. Um, so, let's launch again. And then I just have to put his helmet on. Add some launch clamps. Launch clamps are nice, but uh, I don't know. Unless you have, like, a really weird rocket. Okay, let's let's add Ruffles' helmet. Uh, come on. Show me Ruffles. Show me Ruffles. There we go. No, him. I, I need him. Why won't it let me see Ruffles? Okay, wait. What if I do this and then... There we go. And then equip helmet. Okay. Ruffles should be safe now. And then you know what? Before we start, let's just... Enable camera tools, just so we can. And now we can launch. Um, doesn't he have to go on EVA to have his helmet on? No, I can just add his helmet like there. Yeah. Thankfully, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go. All right, let's uh, hope Ruffles Kerman does not die this time. Go Ruffles. <laughs> Two fifty-six. Go. 
Yes. Me do math goodly. It's sort of funny looking rocket, but honestly, it's not a bad rocket. <laughs> Jumbles does not look happy. Poor Jumbles. He was not uh, asked for consent to go on this mission. Oh yeah, and I also have this for science mod, which is really helpful if you want to focus on building rockets instead of just trying to get the science because it'll automatically do the science if you have like the scientist and the right thing. So I actually recommend that mod a lot because it lets you focus on the real rocket building part instead of the uh, trying to get all the science done in an orderly manner and forgetting like the one thing and then being like, oh no, I have to go to Elu to uh, do that. Oh, uh, something blew up. Okay, we're, we're missing we're missing a uh, fin. Do we, do we need to revert for the one fin? I feel like once we get in space, the one fin won't really matter. But those uh, twisty those twisty th things sort of blew up the one fin. No? Okay. We don't need to revert. Um, oh, I was not watching at all. I was paying absolutely no attention, so we have 152 kilometer apoplopsis. We still have 45 meters per second. We can do deal with 152 kilometers, right? Like, that's fine. Usually I like to be at, like, exactly 100. But, really, it's fine. Actually, let's um, get rid of that stage. There we go. And now that we are out, we can deploy this and see our beautiful rocket. All right, F3, let's see. Um, yep, those pieces that blew up were just uh, on the last stage. Abort. We made it. <laughs> yeah, screw the fin. We never needed it. <laughs> that poor fin. All right, let's get into orbit. I actually really like how this uh, rocket looks. Ruffles Kerman's doing fine on the outside. Um, Ruffles, this is the joyride of your lifetime. <laughs> he he looks he looks a little happy but a little apprehensive at the same time, you know. All right, actually, let's use camera tools because we can. So once we start burning, put Polish flag on mine. I just use a normal Kerbal flag because I haven't, um, I haven't uploaded my normal flag on onto this computer. There we go. I love camera tools. Well, how did I get here? Yeah, poor poor John Bulls. Um Hey man, I had a uh, Core i3. I was in the laggy army all the time. I uploaded a video this morning. Hopefully you guys got to see that. I built that rocket earlier, but it has 414 parts. And I got so bad FPS before that I actually couldn't really launch it at all. Um, so I just waited until my new computer. And then I got to launch it. Still getting used to like playing while talking because usually I do the commentary afterwards. This is nice though. 49 viewers. Nice. You saw it as soon as you woke up. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I had to wake up early today anyway, so. Actually, it's not early. You know what? How about let's fire a firework? Um, rings. That looks good to me. And then let's do like no explosion delay so we can see it. Why didn't the other ones blow up? Oh man. No, they did. They did. That's cool. Okay. Here we go. Stop pitch yard roll. Yeah. They're not actually going to be in the atmosphere anymore, so you're right. We don't we don't need those. Those aren't helping. 
there we go. All right, let's get to the mime. Now, I would use this maneuver maker right here, but actually, I have had problems with that maneuver maker. It just never does it how I like going to the mine, and it's super inefficient and takes a long time. So, I just position the mine about here. Like, this is 45 degrees, it's a little less than 45 degrees. And then, there we go. And let's get to like 50, 77, 69, 45. 45 is fine. Trying to land on the same side as another Mun thing. Um, it's because, uh, okay, we can land somewhere else. Or where something else is, I guess. It's because the only the one had it set to one second. Yeah, I thought it was set all of them to one second, but it didn't. That's fine, though. You woke up to the Death Star siren. That is funny. I love Star Wars. Console version of KSP. The console version of KSP has a lot going against it. The one thing it does have going for it is that the controls are a lot smoother. Because you have like the joysticks and stuff. So the, the controls are a lot better. Once you, that stage is spent, put it on a collision course with a mun. Actually, this stage has so much that we're probably going to start our landing burn with it anyway. So, yeah, we can do that. Let's focus on the, the mun. I got a Google Chrome notification. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, now we're focused on the mun, and we can see our burn. It's a little bit tilted. That's fine, though. We can easily land. Um, Star Wars is amazing. Yep, it is. I think now your KSP has shadows. I did look at the shadows, and I, like, I wasn't really sure whether I had them before. I just didn't really think of it. But, yeah, I do. And then I had some problems with the shadows when I was recording for a new video. Like, they kept glitching, and I was like, wait, I don't remember shadows being there before. Yeah, but I turned, like, the graphics farther up. Release Ruffles into space? No. Maybe we can have Ruffles go on an EVA spacewalk. But, uh, poor Ruffles right here. <laughs> Man, he's, uh, he's at, like, two Gs right now. Poor Ruffles. And we are almost there. 30, 20, 10. Let's go slower now. Here we go. Ooh, main souls are powerful. 44. 44 will do it. And then let's... Actually, let's just quick save right here. I love quick saves because I do a lot of things that could easily get messed up. Okay, we brought a lot of fuel. See, overbuilding a rocket isn't bad. Then you have lots of space for messing up. Um, Chrome has the cleanest design in UI. Google Chrome, you mean? I like Google Chrome, yeah. <laughs> Let Ruffles survive reentry. I think for reentry, we're going to put Ruffles inside the capsule. With the... That's called an... I don't know what that's called. That's like an Enya. It's the little thing about an Enya. Just above the tab button to focus back on the main ship. Yes. I didn't figure that out until, like, really late after I started playing. And I was always having to, like, try to go to the... Um, I was having to try to go to the tracking station or something to switch. Or just try to click on it. It was not fun. But, yeah, let's focus right here. And Ruffles, are you ready for time warping? We. <laughs> belly flop and launch pad and explode yeah they had a lot of problems but i'll say they're doing much much better than nasa poor nasa uh they have no motivation anymore they have no reason to do anything so they're not very good where where's the mud where's the mud there it is also i didn't add any lights on it yeah see all the science <laughs> i've already gone to the mud so many times but it always gets more science um you haven't rickrolled me someone 
SN15, yeah, Owen, <laughs> SN15, SN, all the ones, all the way up to, isn't 15, like, one of the highest numbers they did? They stopped all of their, like, crazy testing, I think. But if you want to know all about Starship, uh, go to <laughs> Pilot, because he does a lot of Starship videos. Um, but yeah, Starship SpaceX is pretty nice. They have, like, competition, so, I mean, that's the reason I believe they're actually doing good, because without competition, like, you don't have any reason. <laughs> Game mode creative, he's funny. Um, that's basically all up 12 on KSP. Depends on how good Ruffles is at landing Starship. One of my videos a while ago was on Starship, but it is not a good Starship. Um, I actually spent a while making a Starship after Pilot's tutorial for my Types of Pilots Episode 3 video. Because Pilot was in that. Okay, where do we want to land? We have Restock Mun Lander. That was actually for a video I never did. Um, so it's just a normal lander. Um, Mun Base Rover Ship. That's actually a big Mun Base I landed yesterday. Giant. That blew up, I'm pretty sure. Pancake. You want to land near Pancake? Um, Matlon Space This Week. Oh yeah, Matlon has some good Space This Week videos. I haven't seen most of them, but... He has a lot of good information there. Who wants to land near Pancake? We can land near Pancake or Drace Rover. That was a test for my Jumping and Drace Canyon video. Um, land near Giant. So Giant was in one of my other videos. It landed on Mimis and then it landed here. But then when I switched to it recently, it fell over and blew up. So unfortunately... Uh, we can't, like, we can't use it anymore, which is really sad. It had, like, 6,000 or more meters per second left. Or it might have had, like, yeah, no. I should collab with Matt Lown. Okay, everybody's saying land your pancakes. That's what we'll do. I should collab with Matt Lown, but Matt Lown has, like, 428k subscribers, and I have 8k, so, um, I'd have to get his attention first somehow. So, but yeah, that, that would be cool. All right, let's, this is going to end up moving a little bit. But there we go. And let's slow down a bit. Where did Pancake go? Oh, we slowed down too far. Wait, this is way too far back. There we go. All right, and let's save Mun Orbit. Love quick saves. Um, my man Ruffles needs to pick up some breakfast. I ate breakfast. Oh, I missed the pancake. Wow, I'm so smart. Um, three part three planet challenge. I am not that skilled. <laughs> that's that's for like Bradley Wistons. Um. Oh, nice. He replied to you. Yeah, Matlon does seem like a very nice guy. <laughs> That's why I like to watch his videos. I like to watch people who are, like, the nice people and kind people. Somewhere on Moon is Saturn V's lander statue. Yes, I've seen that. I saw Matlon's video on that. That's really cool. I actually accidentally found a uh, Mun Arch in one of my videos. I think it was the mini Saturn V video. Um, All doctors are. Yeah, I guess doctors do have to be nice. But yeah, I found it accidentally found a Mun Arch. Um Yeah. Here we go. We're still getting science. Poor Ruffles Kerman still strapped to the outside of the rocket. But hey. Nobody else will ever have an experience like Ruffles Kerman. That's also why I like to watch you. Yay! <laughs> okay. Would die for Chromasuke? Is that how you say it? I don't know. I, w I was a little worried there, but I was like, okay. <laughs> um, all right. Let's get this burn started. Three, two, one, boom. Actually, we could land on this stage, but I'm not going to do that because our lander just looks too cool. 
By the way, for those of you who are just joining um, or who missed the first part, we are landing with a rocket that's entirely made out of mainsail engines. Actually, speaking of that, let's uh, get rid of that last stage. Here we go. Our mainsail engines with a 21.19 uh, thrust to weight ratio, which is going to be great. Let's fold out the solar panels and see how they look. We got the giant fins, the ton of solar panels, the RCS control, and then the fins on top. We got Ruffles Kerman on the side. This is a very special rocket, but I actually sort of like it. <laughs> um, all right, let's point retrograde. That is first thing you got to do. Set us target. No, go back. Go back. There we go. First thing you got to do when you're landing is a point retrograde because you do not want to get too close and then be like, oops, and then uh, mess up. Obviously, I uh, obviously have never done that before. Um, yeah, no, I have. Um, screams intensify. <laughs> um, there will be more outside. Hmm? I'm not exactly sure what you mean. It's advanced burn indicator. Oh, yeah, I have advanced burn indicator turned on because it tells me when I should start the burn, not when the time is. So it gives, it like splits the burn in half and gives you the one half. Um, see ya, Oliver. Solar panels, <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, actually, I can show you right now. If you go to settings right here, you can go to gameplay and then yeah it's extended burn indicator right here and then also turn on advanced tweakables because that's auto strut you always need auto strut let's do a flyby are you kidding me <laughs> it's flying by the wrong thing i gotta reset camera tools that's sort of funny um here we go and then we camera tools like one of the best mods ever. Okay, now let's actually see how we're doing on landing. Oh man. Very, very powerful engine. This is a very, very flat orbit. Let's go to right here and then let's uh let's move this. And then we're gonna be a little bit more over it. Russian? Is that Russian? Um, mostly school. Yay, school. Let's uh, not spam too much, guys, because that just makes it not as easy to see the comments. I feel like people are actually trying to talk to people. Where is it? Where is Pancake? I do not see Pancake. Is it like glitching or something? It's before this big crater. That's good for now. Am I missing something, guys? Where's Pancake? Oh, no. Did I just, like, leave a flag or something? No, because I would still see the flag. What am I missing? Uh, I'm confused. You might pancake down. Ha ha. <laughs> Lower max relative velocity. Yeah, I have it at 65. That would be cool. Press F4. What does F4 do? You're not in physics range. Yeah, but usually it shows like the little box out when you're outside of physics range. So I'm so confused. Um, let's let's just like slow down all the way. We're basically on top of it. Ooh, I got a little donation notification. Nice. Oh, that's a subscription. Yay. Thank you for just subscribing. There, stop, soul. Um, cake was a lie. What? It will render to show the... Oh, what? Oh, wow. I did not even know that was a thing. Nice. So let's... Now we're pointed a little more toward it. I guess I accidentally pressed F4 at one point. I don't know. 
But thank you for that information. I did not know that. Um, that way, Alt F4 two times if you could be here. Yeah, I, I knew Alt F4 was like the four squid or something. Um, DMP or LMP? You mean like Duna multiplayer or Luna multiplayer? I have Duna multiplayer. I had a server set up on my old computer, but uh, unfortunately, it's not set up on this one. I still got to like port forward and stuff, which was sort of hard last time, and I'm not ha excited about doing it again. Let's. Uh, we're apparently about to crash, guys. According to KSP. Well. Oh no, we're unable to save. Okay. We got to be careful because this is a very fast, powerful engine. Ooh, we got a volcano over there. 13, 12, 11. Oh, look at the shadow, boy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, we, we're fine. We're fine. There we go. Look at this rocket. <laughs> we did it. And there's Pancake. Okay. Ruffles Kerman, we're going to EVA. Ah, what is what happened? Poor Ruffles Kerman. Ruffles Kerman. There we go. Oh, my goodness. It's a little bit of a glitch. Um, Control, Delphi, the other information ball. Yes, an LMP stream. It would be sick. Um, why are they not? Can somebody tell me why it's not, like, auto-rotating to to uh where it's supposed to be like i'm so confused i can't fly ruffles ruffles um hmm i'm really confused sas toggles auto rotate press is it the camera it's still sas is on it's still not auto rotating Uh, control delete is task manager. <laughs> control delete would not be um, the right thing. That would be task. He's like slowly moving. Do you see this? Why is he slowly moving? That's so weird. No, he's spinning. Okay. Ruffles. We're going to. Okay. How about this? We're going to save Mun Landing. And then we're going to reload it. So I know there's a button that turns it on and off. I just always forget what that button is. Mun landing. <laughs> Control shift W. Isn't that like a screenshot or something? Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. We did it. We did it. Okay, let's actually plant a flag right here because we can. Here we go. Perfect. And then once I download my uh, Ruffles Kerman flag, it'll be the Ruffles Kerman flag. Um, thick boy nightmare landing, and then. Planted by Ruffles. There we go. See ya, Owen. Let's check out the Pancake Lander. This this, this looks like a uh, interesting lander. I think my brother built this one. Uh, must have mods for lore. <laughs> um, mods to help you get into orbit. Um, I don't know. I don't really know of any mods to help you get into orbit or docking. I know there's a mod that helps you line up your docking ports, but I don't know what it is. Um, was Ruffles Kerman a woman before he was male? There's a story behind the name Ruffles. It has to do with, like, a dog we were fostering who was named Ruffles. Um, just because he was, like, scraggly. But no, it's more off, like, the chip, I think. Yes. Um...
Mechjib? Oh, yeah, I've heard of Mechjib. I do not have Mechjib, but it is supposed to, like, help you a lot with that stuff. Here, let's, let's let Ruffles have a brief break for a minute. And then let's switch back. No, this one. Here we go. Let's solar panels because we can. And then actually let's add an action group to fire these so it's much easier. And then let's change um, crosset. Sure. <laughs> Let's make all of these different. Um, yeah, I think Beckjeb helps you. Yes, yeah, Scott Manley. Scott Manley's great. All right, who thinks that these fireworks are going to hit the uh, solar panels and mess up the solar panels? Because I know you can use you can use fireworks to blow things up, which is really great, and you should watch my video on that. But uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna blow it up. All right, I'm gonna try. Ready? Oh, they did! It did. We lost our solar panels. <laughs> okay, we uh, lost all of our solar panels. We still have actually these tiny ones. I feel like those are enough. Do we do we have to uh <laughs> it was a great explosion. Do we have to revert? I, I feel like we're fine. We're fine. The the damage oh that's a lot of pieces. Look at look at the mess. Look at the mess. Oh my goodness. Let's uh just launch more. That's sort of cool, actually. Look at this. That's uh, rather mesmerizing. I can only use rocket to decouple. <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of damage. I was surprised by the amount of damage. Um. Yeah. Fireworks, yes. Uh, you should watch the How to Really Use Fireworks in KSP. I destroyed the entire KSC with fireworks. Would fireworks actually work in space? Um, I don't believe so because I believe they use combustion or something. I don't know. I think they have to have oxygen for like how they go. Anyway, let's get back to carbon. And for those of you who have just joined... We built this rocket with um, using a bunch of viewer requests, and we are now getting back to carbon. Ooh, pilot! Pilot just went live with a video. Um, don't leave my stream for pilot stream, no. Um, but yeah, we're actually gonna finish up soon because I have to go uh, a little after noon. So let's just save right here in case something goes wrong, and. Let's go back. <laughs> this rocket is really great, actually. <laughs> Besides the fact that the fireworks, we just blew them all up. Or, I mean, the fireworks blew up all the solar panels. Bye, Vejas. <laughs> Going to watch Pilot. Um, basically, a mini SRB. The fireworks, they are something. Um, here we go. Now... This is going to be a very interesting orbit, but as long as you have an orbit around the Mun, you can really get back to Kerbin. Big rocket go boom. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, for a minute I was like, wait, do we have ruffles? Yes, we do have ruffles. Um, <laughs> no ruffles is better. Well, thank you. But pilot, pilot is pretty great. He does a lot of cool stuff. I try to watch his streams when I can. Honestly, Pilot and I should do an LMP collaboration. Luna multiplayer. That would be fun. Somebody, if you're going to get on Pilot's stream, tell Pilot he should do a collab with me. And 
Why does it keep changing the camera? I like the free camera. And yeah, a collab with Pilot would be great. Share the craft file. Okay, I can do that. Um, if I remember, hopefully I'll remember. We still have a thousand meters per second and we're in orbit around the moon. This is going to be easy. A lot of the times early in my science, I have like no, I have like 800 meters per second, which is like <laughs> barely not enough to get back. Um, and it's really sad, but now I have more than enough. Is that, that's not helping. Why is it? Oh my, why? No, just get back. Wait, guys, um, what just happened? Hold on. What? It, what? It didn't even like, hold on for a minute. It just crashed. That's so weird. It wasn't like loading for a minute either. Okay. I'm getting it up again. That's that is really weird. Yeah, the Kraken. Like, it's almost like somebody just pressed the X. I mean, I guess that would have to be me pressing the X. But there's no that's that's really weird. Maybe I accidentally did like some keyboard shortcut. Um, or press like a button on my mouse. Maybe I think. Oh, I think one of the buttons on my mouse closes the window. That is not a good idea. <laughs> um. You can right click them for them to say hi. Oh, nice. All right, well, it's pretty much loaded. Yeah, that's why we do quick saves. Um, yeah. Um, Pilot should watch your stream on his stream. That would be funny, and yes. <laughs> All right, new start treaty. That's actually a uh, pun on a nuclear proliferation treaty, which is sort of a nerdy pun, but whatever. <laughs> All right, let's go to tracking station and see where it put it. it. Takes ten minutes. Okay, it took a while for my last laptop to load KSP. Man, look at look at all of this. This is crazy. Oh man, so much debris. Um, thick boy landed at the mun. That's okay. I'm back. Have you landed? Yes, we are on the moon, and we might have blown up all our solar panels with fireworks, but we're on the moon. <laughs> all right, we are both in. Let's um. Let's go back. We. This rocket is great. Seven. I usually get to about. 10 kilometers for the apoapsis when I'm launching off the mun. Get a little bit of extra room. Oh, not the target. Let's do orbit. There we go. We don't need the target anymore. Do I need to press F4 again to show the target? I don't know. The target's gone. Okay. Um. Here we go. KSP don't go dying. I know. Stop crashing KSP. There we go. That'll work. Um, what are we building? We built a rocket with a bunch of viewer requests and it turned out actually I really like it. Do people build spacecrafts without how do people build spacecrafts without ion engines? Um people build spacecrafts without ion engines because they want a spacecraft that uh actually goes fast. Although Ion engines are a very fun challenge. I did um, a video with ion engine landing on Minimus. That was fun. It had a lot of meters per second, too. By the way, guys, um, I feel like a real YouTuber when I say this, but uh, about only, uh, only about 2% of my viewers are subscribed, so statistically you are one of my viewers that is not subscribed actually if you're on the stream most likely not but if you are not subscribed then please subscribe because that really does help me out it makes youtube um it makes youtube think i'm more famous 
and uh, being more famous is a good thing on YouTube because more people, you know, watch. More people watch your videos. 491. Get closer, get closer. 381. Ah! I don't know why it does this. You know what? Actually, we can just move this around and see what happens. This is the best way to go if you don't know, really. Actually, I already picked the best spot. Um, that is okay. Um, just 2% like how... Yeah, I... Okay, I have one video with over 1 million views, and the next highest one is 212,000. So the one video has just a bunch of random people watching it. That's what I believe happened. And cash, cash money. Yes. <laughs> um, someone sent a super chat on pilot stream and he mentioned you. Yeah. Let's go. By the way, I'm still working on setting up donations for this stream. So... Um, could somebody say whether, like, there is a donation button? Because if there's a donation button, then it should be set up, but I'm not sure if there is yet. How can we send, how about we send links to custom flags he has to attach? That's a good idea for another live stream, yeah. There is not a donation button, okay. So I still have to set that up, that's fine. And... Wait, let's let's quick save here in case it uh, crashes again. <laughs> let's watch Kerbin right here. There we go. And then, ta-da! Good game. <laughs> All right, let's wait until we get out of the sphere of influence of the Mun. I guess it's easier to say the Mun's sphere of influence, but whatever. <laughs> and now, um, what's the best way to go about this? I Let's see. We have 664 meters per second, so let's just burn 500 right here. And then we can save the extra 100 to enter the atmosphere. I feel like that's the best way of doing it. You owe my brother $20? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, can you owe me $20? No, just kidding. Statistically, none of us watching here now are subscribed. Well, hopefully you're subscribed. <laughs> Let's see the return to Earth. Here we go. That always looks cool. Wait, we still have fireworks. Let's launch fireworks in space, guys, because uh, fireworks in space totally doesn't go against the laws of physics. <laughs> no air break. We will do an air break. I just like to expend all the extra fuel here to make it less severe of an air break. Um, like when you enter the atmosphere, it's much less severe. So if you have extra fu fuel... You might as well, you know, expend it here. Yeah, because now our apoapsis is under a million meters, which is much nicer. Oh, hopefully we save enough fuel to get in the atmosphere. We have 147. Uh, shoot. That's fine. We have a quick save. When case speed comes out, um, you better, will you get it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Might be in college at the time, but oh yeah. <laughs> and this is just to get back to Kerbin. There we go. And then we can do this much quicker. Okay. You know what we can do? Let's just, um,. Actually, no, we don't need a maneuver. We can just warp here. And if we warp there, then... Um, in simple rocks, you land in 9% water. Water water's an easy way to land. That's a good thing. But yeah, if we warp here, then we should be able to enter the atmosphere. And then when we're at our periapsis, we'll be able to use all our fuel then. I feel like that's... The easiest way to make sure we actually enter the 
Kerbin's sphere of influence, or not sphere of influence, atmosphere. All right, we are 40. Um, do you plan on landing the whole ship or just the capsule? We don't have enough Delta V to land the whole ship. So not the whole ship, but just the capsule. Yeah, there you go. Drop it below 40. Um, at what point did I get into KSP? Or what version? It was... It was just like a year ago. So, not that bad. Not that long, actually. Um, I don't know what version it was then. I was just focused on trying to build a rocket that actually flew and didn't flip. If all else fails, use EVA. Yes, I have done that before. <laughs> Um, we have 916 playbacks on this. Nice. Oh, I'm landing in darkness. That's fine. Okay, let's uh use all of our fuel. And then... You subbed to me. Yay! Thank you. Okay, whoever, uh, if you're still on here, whoever mentioned the Separatrons, that was actually a really nice addition because most of the time that just sort of sticks right here. And you can't really get rid of it. So the Separatrons are actually really nice. And the fins, I don't know how much of this is the fins, but the fins seem to be keeping it pretty good. Um, hopefully we'll slow down fast enough to use our parachutes. Let's time warp a bit. We gotta enter. Let's let's keep that up just to check our blader. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. We don't need that. Never makes normal rockets. <laughs> Why would you make a normal rocket when you can make a special rocket? All right, let's quick save right here, just in case something happens. Always got to use quick saves. And then let's get down to like 4,000 meters before we open the parachutes. And there we go. The drug shoots are nice. But we still got to open the big boy. There we go. Oh, we're still landing a little fast. Wait, how are we? Oop, that just blew up. How are we landing fast? Four times physics warps killed tons of Kerbals. You are not wrong. The heat isn't flamish, it's really hot gas. Huh. That's cool. And. Oop, speed up. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, we lost the heat shield. But the heat shield doesn't matter. We landed. We did it. Let's, uh. Okay, this is actually the free IVA mod I was talking about. You can like walk around. We let's let's look outside. Ah, uh, we can't go outside. Ah. Uh. Well, thank you guys for watching my very first live stream and for helping me build that rocket. This was uh, very fun for me. I hope it was fun for you as well. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Let's recover this vessel, and then I have some places to be unfortunately i cannot stay um that's why you jettison the heat shield i always forget that the heat shield actually has that option we actually got a lot of science man that's why i love for science anyway thank you guys so much for watching my live stream um hopefully you'll come back and yeah i have some ideas for live streams in the future but for now I have to go. So see you guys.